the last thing we have to discuss is write down Bragg's law. What is Bragg's law? That is the equation of Bragg's law. What is Bragg's law? Hmm. So what happens in that? Hmm? See, Bragg's law is the law we have through which we can find out the interplanar displacement. Interplanar spacing is what? It is a distance between the two layer in a crystal. Okay? Crystals has layered like structure. Suppose we have a layer 1, 2, 3 and so on we have. Okay? So you must have some distance between these two layers. Okay? This distance D we call it as interplanar spacing. Okay? And to find out this D we use Bragg's law. The relation of Bragg's law is n lambda is equals to 2d sin theta. n lambda is equals to 2d sin theta. With this equation, you can solve all the questions of this. Okay? Whatever question they ask, numerical question, with this equation you can solve. Everything will be given, one unknown will be there. Use this formula and you get the answer. Okay? Uh -huh. I will discuss that. Okay? But how do we get this expression? n lambda is equals to 2d sin theta that we are going to discuss. Now, to find out this interplanar spacing, we use a light of certain wavelength, okay? And that light will be uh, in the order of that uh, interplanar spacing, like according to that only will, generally we choose X-ray because X-ray has penetrating power, okay? So that can penetrate into the crystal and then reflection, we have a receiver end, we have a source of X-ray, that receiver receives light from the, you know, which, is, which gets reflect from the crystal surface. And then on the basis of the image that you get, on the basis of that image only, we'll find out that beam. Okay? So first of all, to understand this, we have to uh, uh, understand two properties of wave. And that is constructive and destructive. What is constructive? Interference properties of wave that is interference and that has two types of interference constructive and destructive interference what is constructive interference when two wave of same phase suppose this is wave 1 and another wave is this when these two waves combines why they have same phase because you see they are same direction right this is the direction of the wave. The so same wave, when these two combines, they will give you a net wave whose amplitude, suppose it is A1, is A2. So the net wave will have amplitude is equals to A is equals to A1 plus A2 of the point. So this is why is equal to A1 plus A2 of the Okay? So this is constructive wave. So okay. Can we say, can we have any multiple of Ah, that is possible. Basically, you'll get you have to add these two, uh, you know, amplitude when the wave is same, when the when the when the phase is same, when the phase is opposite, like this. These two opposite phase, right? When these two combines, if the amplitude is same, then these two cancel out each other, right? You won't get any wave, right? So this kind of uh, interference we call it as constructive or destructive interference. Okay. What is diffraction? What is diffraction? This is interference, right? Huh? Can you say it is a bending of light? Huh? See, wave has two properties, interference and diffraction. Okay? Interference we have discussed, constructive distance. We have the use of this interference only. Okay? Diffraction is nothing but the bending of light. Have blade because it tilted the car? It signs, some angle it signs. That is diffraction of light. Okay. So when the light or the you know light strikes at any sharp edge, edge, it diffracts. Okay, and that the shiny part when you tilt the blade like this, any shiny the knife also if you uh, you know tilt like this, 
at some different angulate signs. Okay, so that is bending of light because of bending of light. Okay, so that is diffraction we call it as interference. We have use of interference here. Two types of interference: destructive and constructive. Now to get a better image, we need constructive interference because यहाँ तो कुछ मिलेगा ही नहीं. Right? अगर source of the wave is same, right? So you get obviously same wave you get with same amplitude. And if the interference is destructive, you won't get anything. Receiver cannot, uh, you know, receive this because you are not getting anything here. But here you are getting the larger amplitude wave. Okay. To get the better picture, better image, we must require constructive interference for any, uh, you know, any experiment, whatever you are doing. So here also for Bragg's law, or to find out the interplanar spacing, we require constructive interference, not destructive interference. Okay. Now suppose the crystal we have this. This is the layer we have in the crystal. Okay. This side we have a source of. Why X-ray we are using? Because it has penetrating power. It can go in a like it can go into the crystal action. Okay. So this is the source of X-ray, and this side we use. We take one receiver, which can receive the reflected wave from this crystal. Okay. So this is the direction of wave we have. In this direction it goes, and it reflects. It goes like this. The angle of incident. This angle is theta. Okay. Now, since we require constructive interference, so the phase or the wave that you get here, that wave must have the same phase. Okay. Then only we get constructive interference. Suppose this is a wave we have. Okay. Same phase, so it should go like this. Then from here it's go like this. So same phase we have so here it should be. We draw one perpendicular line here. And one perpendicular. So phase should be same. So it should go like this. Okay. This one. Let's suppose we have path A, and this is we have path B. This distance is the interplanar spacing D. Okay. Hmm? Isn't that supposed to be like a surface which you should touch and then? Ah, I am coming. Let me explain one point. Obviously, this wave goes like this. Okay, okay. It goes like this only. Okay. But the point is, we should have here constructive interference. So phase of the wave must be same. That's why I have drawn this. Okay. Now, uh, can you tell me path A and path B? Two different paths we have. Which path the wave has to travel more distance? A or B? B. Correct. And what is the path difference? This distance, this distance is same. This distance and this distance is same. Path difference is what from this point to this point. Okay. Now suppose it is O, A, P, and B. So if I ask you what is the path difference? Path difference is nothing but A P plus P B. Is it clear? A P plus P B. Okay. What is this distance? It is D. And if this is theta, this one is what? ये वाला क्या होगा? 90 minus theta. ये क्या होगा? और ये क्या होगा? 
नाइन्टी माइनस ठीक है इसको ठीक कर If this is theta, then what is AP in terms of D? Sin theta is what in this triangle? Sin theta is what? AP by OP, right? AP by OP. So what is AP? AP is D sin theta. Okay? AP is D sin theta. Similarly, PB is also D sin theta. Because if it is theta, this is also theta, right? Yeah. Theta. This is ninety minus theta. Perpendicular actually. This is perpendicular. OB and AP. 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 Then if that is the case, then POB should be 90 minus 3. If they are parallel. You are saying OB and AP. Yeah, if they are parallel. It is not parallel. I have just drawn perpendicular from this point to this point. This is the perpendicular. Okay. This is theta. This is theta. Since it is theta, this is parallel. Parallel. A theta, A theta, O theta. T O theta, O theta. These two angles must be equal. Ninety minus ninety minus theta. Sir, how can it be possible? Ninety minus theta, theta. Okay. This is ninety minus theta. It should be theta. Sir, A P B is a right angle. Yeah, A P B is a right angle. A P B is a right angle. A P B. Yeah, A P B. How can both of them be equal? But you're not assuming all that. No, no. This the angle of whatever angle we have here, the same angle we should make its reflection now. So this angle and this angle must be same. But it's just like this. Okay. Is that this angle same or same? ठीक है। तो इस एंगल इस थीटा, इस इस 90 माइनस थीटा एंड विद द सेम एंगल इट रिफ्लेक्ट। दिस शुड बी थीटा। इफ दिस इस थीटा 90 माइनस थीटा दिस शुड बी थीटा। ओके? ठीक है ना? सो थीटा। नाउ इफ इट इस थीटा देन व्हाट इस पीबी देन? कैन यू सी पीबी? पीबी इस अगेन डी साइन थीटा। ठीक है? डी so what is the part difference AB plus PB? D sin theta plus D sin theta. That is 2D sin theta. You get part difference. Now if the part difference in terms of lambda is n lambda, then this, this thing is true, right? Okay? Now you look at this, uh, the part difference A, B that you have. Suppose we have this A, B. Okay. 
Now at point A, the wave is coming from the bottom and it is going from the top. Right? So at point A, the wave is coming this way and it is going this way. Right? Now for this thing to be possible, right? One possibility is what? It may go like this. This is one possibility. Another possibility is what? It forms two wave. Another possibility is what it forms? Three wave like this. Okay? It is what? What is this distance? Lambda. What is this distance? Lambda plus lambda. It is two lambda. It is? 3 lambda and so on. Then we can say the path difference must be an integral multiple of lambda. Okay? And that's why the path difference is n lambda is equals to 2d sin theta. Is it clear? Is it clear? The path difference must be, must be the integral multiple of the wavelength of the light that we are using for this and that should be equals to 2d sin theta okay numerical questions you can solve under this most mostly they ask numericals only okay they will give you the you know all things will be given angle of incident n is generally n the right order first order diffraction is there like that they say first second whatever order they have written it means that is the n value given okay and whatever whatever unknown you can find out on this Sine 54.5, like this also they will give angle, but this value will be given in the question itself. Sine of 54.5 is this. Okay. Must you take care of what is the theta we have taken? Theta is this. Okay. If they have given you this value, then the answer will be 90 minus theta. You have to take. Sometimes they will give you this angle, theta is 54.5. Okay. So 90 minus this is that incident angle. Got it? How do you know 80 degrees is 90 degrees? I didn't say it. I didn't say it 90. But here it is 80 degrees is 90 degrees. Yeah, but here it is, yeah, it is 90 also you can say. This is theta, right? So this angle is this. this. AP is 180 minus 180 minus 2 theta. Depends on theta actually. See, we don't know about this angle, what is this ABB, but we are very sure that this angle should be this, equal to this, because if this is theta, this should be 90 minus theta, and the angle with which it is, the angle forms with this vertical line, with the same angle it goes, right, the reflection, same angle will be there, angle of incident or angle of reflection. These two angles must be same, that is what the concern, theta and theta, okay.